This is footage of my Swordmaster in a 1v2. I'm fighting a Disciple of Cain and a Chosen in Dragonwake. The Chosen is very well geared, um, all Sentinel and Dark Promise gear. This first fight, I punt the Doc immediately off the cliff because he allowed me to get inside position. And the Chosen's running, so I used my AoE root to catch up to him. He was out, outside of melee range. I snared him, and one thing this Chosen is doing is he's giving up his back as he's running away. You want to make sure that you don't ever do this. If you're running from other players, um, strafe or run sideways so that you can retain your ability to block or parry as, as applicable. All right, in this first fight here, the Chosen decides to bail. The Dock and then the Chosen come back to the same spot. And if you watch the Dock this time, he's much more careful about not letting me get inside position to punt him off the cliff. I get knocked down there by the Chosen. At this point, um, I've got to try to bait them off the cliff. So I'm uh, trying to strafe and use my bubbles, move around, not give up my back. So right here, I cut the angle, punt the Disciple of Cain off the cliff. And I'm at about one third of my health and the Chosen's almost at full. So I go into full turtle mode. I pop protection of health. You can see that absorption bubble, the blue bubble. Um, I use Eagle's Flight a lot, which is a parry buff. Pop Demolishing Strike there, which is a rank one morale heavy dot. And if you watch our two health bars, this is a really close fight. So I have to try to burn him down. You can see I'm not moving around a lot because I've got touch of palsy. And as the fight gets close, when he's at low health, I hit Dazzling Strike to slow down his attack times and just manage to burn him down. 